God's grace to the anger to the Bible story. The beautiful house of God. People were talking. What is the Solomon, King Solomon doing? He is building a house of God. It will be a beautiful temple. <laughs> Hiram, king of Shre, was a friend of David. Give me the best wood to build the house of God. Solomon asked Hiram for the best wood for the temple. King Hiram gave Solomon the best wood. King Solomon gave King Hiram food, food for the people of Jewry. King Solomon sent 30,000 people to the king. Hiram to bring the wood. Solomon had 80,000 stone cutters. Solomon had Seven, I seventy thousand cut carriers. He had over three thousand for a month. The king made them cut the stones to lay the ground at John of the temple. May people trimmed it, the stone to build a temple. Some people worked it with gold and silver. They covered inside of the temple with gold. They made it many things for the temple. Some People worked with cloth. It took seven years for King Solomon to finish the temple. The temple was big and beautiful. King Solomon gathered all the leaders of Israel. All the holy things, holy things were put in the temple. They worshipped God when they finished the worship. The temple was filled with God's cloud. The temple was filled with God's glory. King Solomon gathered all the people of Israel. The Praises praised God in the new temple. King Solomon prayed to God with the people. We praise you. Please stay with us. Please help us love you. The Israel were, were very happy because they have because of the grace of God. And maybe I will read three stories more. I two story, maybe. God fit Elijah. In the Bible story, there is two very uh, same name: Elijah and Elisha. Yeah, God fit Elijah. 
Elida told King Ahab, God will punish the disobeyed king. There will be no rain for many years. King Ahab didn't want to hear Elida. The king and his wife did the the bell tried to kill Elida. Elida had to run away. Elida covered God's a con read God's word to the king. God told him to escape from the king. Where should I go? asked Eliza. Hide in the current raven east of the Jordan and drink from it. God let him. What can I eat to live? asked Eliza. There were nothing to eat at the current raven. God sent food to Elijah every day. God sent ravens with food. Ravens brought bread and meat every day. Elita drank from the stream. God gave Elita good food every day. Elita prayed, Thank you for the good food, God. Yeah, I will read more stories. Elita helped the family. It didn't rain for a long time. The curtain driven dried up. The people didn't have enough food. The crops didn't grow well. Where shall I go get food to eat? prayed Elida. Go to Zerfat, a widow. I will take care of you there. Elida went to Zerfat. When Elita went into the town gate, a window was gathering sticks. Elita said to her, I can have some water and bread. The woman said, My son and I only have enough flour and oil for one last meal. Elita replied, Don't worry. Prepare food. Bring the bread to me first. Then cook something for you and your son. God will not let you Go hungry until it rains. Your flour and oil will never run out. The woman did as Elijah said. Elijah, the woman, and her son had enough to eat after that. God took care of the woman, and her son sought Elijah. The woman thanked Elita for giving her enough food. Elita thanked the woman for
for the food too. Yeah, I think I. Oh, I want to read this one because it. He is Elijah and he is Elisa. I've room for I. I room. I've room for Elijah. I Elisa. Elisa often traveled to the town of Shunem. Please eat with us when you pass our house. As Shunem woman said to Elisa, I know you work for God. We want to help you. Elisa was peak. Preaching God's word, the Shunamite woman and her husband wanted to help Elisa. They invited him for dinner. Elisa liked to eat with them. Elisa knew they loved God. The sun, sun, a man, woman, prepared something wonderful for Elisa. She asked her husband to make something for Elisa. Come this way. The woman took Elisa a nice room. There was a bed. A table and a chair. Even a lamp was there. Hmm, lamp. Maybe candle instead of lamp. Because I think in that time there was no lamp. Huh? We made this room. Room. Just for you. Whenever you are here, you can sleep in this room. Elisa was happy to see the room. It was a comfortable room. Thank you. You have prepared everything for me in this room, said Elisa. We are proud that. You work for God. We are happy to help you," said the woman. Yeah, next time I will read Naaman met God. Yeah, and today I read four stories. Today I was going to read three stories, but I have read four stories. Maybe next time I can also read four stories. Like I also want to help who listen to God and preaches God, and I also want to help another like Elisa, and also I want to. <coughs> Talk with God. Yeah, the maybe four stories I read. I said I have read four stories. Huh? This one, so my this one I have also. Yeah, and I also want to work for God's house. Today I read four stories, and next time I will read Nam and Met God and three more stories. Yeah, it does. Well, then bye.